It's another Kia. We've already seen the Kia Seed GT today, but now it's time for this, the Kia Pro Seed. First of all, my apologies if people keep running in and out behind me, but I really can't do anything about it. Journalists at Reveals tend to be quite elbows out, quite aggressive with how they go about things. So if someone starts climbing on the car or gets a drone out, or I've seen someone put a shoe on the floor before, don't know what that was about, then I'm sorry, but I literally can do nothing at all. Secondly, let's talk about the name. You see, the last generation Kia Seed was spelled C-E-E -E apostrophe D, but Kia quickly realized that that apostrophe didn't make any difference to how people actually said the name. So for the latest generation of Seed, they've dropped the apostrophe, which makes a lot of sense. It makes no difference whatsoever. The last generation Seed was also available as a three-door, and that was called the Pro Seed, and that was spelled P-R-O underscore C-E-E apostrophe D. That's, that's confusing anyway. But the point is, with the latest generation Seed, there isn't a three-door model. There will never be a three-door Seed. And what that has done is it has freed up the Proceed name. So the Proceed is the shooting brake, not to be confused with the Seed sports wagon, which is just the standard estate. It'll go on sale in the first few months of 2019 and it is similar to the standard Seed hatch in every way, apart from the fact it's a little bit longer, it's a tiny bit heavier. But my word, is it a good looking car. I mean, just look at it. And the good news is it'll be able to get it as a Proceed GT with a 1.6 litre turbocharged engine with 201 brake horsepower. And I don't know about you, but a shooting brake with a quick engine in it, that's quite appealing. And in case you're interested in the numbers, it's five millimetres lower than the Seed Sports Wagon, it's also five millimetres longer, and the roof line is 43 millimetres lower. So it's quite a different look. Inside, it's very similar to the standard Seed, but the changes from Seed to Pro Seed are actually quite similar from Seed to Seed GT. The only real difference is you get more supportive seats in the proper GT. The spring and damper rates have been changed, but the suspension is fundamentally exactly the same. It's still independent front and rear. And you can get it with a six-speed manual or a seven-speed double clutch gearbox. And you can also opt in the Michelin Pilot Sport four tires that you get as standard on the CGT and Pro Seed GT. Reading through the specs, even though the Pro Seed is a normal model, you can get it with normal engines, a one liter turbo petrol, a 1.4 liter turbo petrol, 1.6 liter turbo diesel, it looks like quite a nice middle ground between the standard Seed and the CGT. We will get to drive it in a few months time. And as I said, even though it's still quite a normal small car, it's got a seven year warranty, normal small car stuff, I'm quite looking forward to getting behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah.